When Nancy and I decided just six months into our marriage that we had to be more purposeful with our time together, it was a pretty easy decision. I had work, she had college, but we didn't have many other distractions that we had to deal with. A few years later, that changed when we had kids and we had volunteer work and we were involved in our church and we were tired. None of the distractions in of, of themselves were bad, yet they took time away from our marriage. We were saying yes to things that were good, but even yes became a no for our time together. We began to look at our schedules to see what we could change. First, we agreed to limit volunteer work, not to sign up for everything that came along in the church. Then we looked at the time we spent with our kids. They were truly our greatest blessing, but we were not doing a very good job of setting aside time for each other amid the demands of parenting. Then we discovered a truth that was huge for us. If we were going to model a healthy marriage for our kids, they needed to see us making each other and time for each other a priority. How could we expect them to grow up and value time with their spouse if they didn't see us do that? Now, what about you? What are the distractions in your marriage? Are they controlling you or are, they, are you controlling them? What is your first step in dealing with these distractions? Your one thing today, together identify a distraction in your marriage and decide how you can keep it from affecting your marriage in a negative way.